Thanks, Bill. We're taking action for you and helping you get your car ready for summer. Patrick Hernandez is here from General Motors with some post-winter tips. First, Patrick, summers in Florida, as we all know, are very, very hot. How does that negatively affect our car? Well, there's a variety of different things that it can really change, especially with the, the pressure in your tires, um, the temperatures of the coolants and the fluids. It's really something you have to pay attention to because with those varying temperatures, especially in this, my, in this South Florida heat, it can really affect all the different factors that affect your car. Well, talk about some of the things that need to be replaced. I mean, I've gotten in my car before, and it's just so hot that you think to yourself, this can't be good for what's under the hood. So what, what are things you need to replace? Well, you definitely have to be looking first for your oil. That's a major thing. It's like the lifeblood of your vehicle. And as much as you can change that, keep that flowing, you're definitely going to be avoiding some of the major issues. Of course, um, tire pressure. Uh, as air uh, heats up, it expands, and it definitely affects, one, the fuel economy of your car, but also the ride. And it really does help when you're checking the fluids, the air in your tires, changing the oil, and really just keeping things fl um, flowing in the vehicle for whatever trip you're planning. Okay, I don't know if anyone else that's watching this right now is like me, but I tend to start the car and leave it running, let the air kind of cool off. Probably not the best thing for the battery. Is that something we should or shouldn't do? No, it's actually a little bit more of your preference, but definitely making sure that the battery, one, is connected, and uh, especially when we're down here in South Florida, very close to the ocean, definitely checking for corrosion, because that actually leads to those little things where you think your car might be stalling, but it really does have to do with those connections. All right, my last question for you. I don't know a lot about cars, but I know enough to know that the heat is probably not great for tires. Is this something that people should maybe go and get their tires checked, being that the roads are so hot and it could damage the tires? You no, know, it actually has to do with both the heat and also the debris in the, on the, um, the roads. And so making sure that you uh, regularly maintain tires really does help you one, again, for fuel economy, and two, to make sure that you're avoiding those issues on the road. All very good tips. I've literally taken notes so that I can make <laughs> my car survive through the summer. Thanks so much. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. I'll send it back.